Rob Gronkowski, Gronkowski suffered a concussion late in the second quarter yesterday after a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit by Barry Church. Gronk went to the locker room and did not return to the game. The Patriots were down by 11 when Gronk was hurt, but still came back to win. Shannon, how important is Gronk to Brady? Um, Gronk makes them a better team. People need to realize Tom Brady won three Super Bowls when Gronk was probably in elementary or middle school. So, <clears throat> and since he's been there, he's missed a total of 32 games, regular season and playoffs. So that's the equivalent of two seasons. So Tom Brady has gotten used to playing with Rob Gronkowski out of the lineup. He just makes them a more dangerous offense. Would you believe this, that the Golden State Warriors are 25-5 and five without Kevin Durant? But we know they're a different animal with Kevin Durant in that lineup. I thought this was about Gronkowski. No, Skip, it is about Gronkowski, but I'm just showing you great teams can overcome the absence of a great player. Mm. You know what I'm trying to do. I don't. Yes, you do. I'm yes, you do. I'm trying to change the subject, but that's okay. No, the subject is Gronk and the Patriots. They are a better team. They're more diverse with Gronk. He, he demands double teams, which leaves even the receivers get even more wide open because you're paying so much attention to him. So I get it. I get it why people are like, well, he missed the last six games. He missed the playoffs last year. And he won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Brady had won, won four Super Bowls without Gronk. But to try and diminish Gronk, look at since Gronk has entered the NFL, and you tell me the offensive player that scored more touchdowns than Gronk, a receiver, a running back, or tight end. There isn't any. So you can make a case that, that, that Brady is all-time great with trying, without trying to undermine Gronk because Gronk's Brahman, dominance is unquestioned. He being a great player is unquestioned, but Brady has found a way to play regardless. Edelman's not in the lineup. He's going to a Super Bowl. There have been several guys that have missed. Tom Brady knows how to work with what he has, and those guys work really, really well in that offense. Everybody couldn't, wouldn't know how to use an Edelman or an Amendola or some of these other guys. But Josh McDaniels has found a way to ingrat ingratiate them into this offense, and Tom Brady has done a, does a great job of distributing the football to them. So he is a great asset to have, but Tom Brady was great before he has Gronk. He's great with Gronk. He's great without Gronk. Mm -hmm. Which is, to my point, I don't want to diminish Gronk, but I get tired of some people, not you, trying to diminish Brady by putting Gronk on a pedestal he doesn't belong on. He doesn't make Tom Brady. No, no, no. Nor does Tom Brady make Gronkowski. They're, they're both really good, but Tom Brady is transcendent. Yeah. Or you would say transcendental. Well, it's hard to know what Gronk would be without Tom because he's always had Tom. We know what Tom is without Gronk we because do. we've seen a 10-year body of work. So I tweeted at halftime that it's not, I'm just paraphrasing, not the end of the world. They can be at least as effective without Gronk in the second half, and they were. Because just for the record, yesterday, pre-Gronk, they were losing 14-3. to Post-Gronk, they won 21-6. to That was the score after Gronk. Correct. In pre-Gronk yesterday, Tom Brady was 11-16 for 112 yards. In post-Gronk concussion, 15 of 22 was Tom Brady for 178 yards and two touchdowns. No touchdowns before, two after. So yesterday, he was a little better, if not a lot better, without Gronkowski. Why is that? What I don't like about Gronkowski in the offense is it reminds me a little bit of Dak to Dez. Dez, you know, obviously Dak kept forcing the ball to Dez when he's covered. Now, Gronk is not a shell of himself, no. obviously, but sometimes this offense gets too Gronk-centric because clearly every team is going to try to take the big guy away. Right. And yesterday, it was Miles Jack, it was Jalen Ramsey, often with a little help from a safety. Sometimes Gibson over and, the top. And they're just taking him away. Yeah. They're just saying, I dare you to throw it to him. He dropped one he should have caught in the first half, and then that one, was it was a tough catch that he was about to make, and he should have gone to church, I guess, because Barry Church went to him, right? Well, Skip, blew it, him up. it was a great play, but Skip, if you notice, Church tried to turn to his side. Yeah, he he did. didn't try to headhunt it. He turned to the side, but that's physics. You run into another body, bodies are going to collide, heads are going to come forward, and this is what okay. you get. So is it a fair call? Yeah, yeah, it's the, it's the today, right call. Absolutely, the absolutely.
Okay, so the point is, sometimes Tom Brady is a victim of forcing passes to, to 87. And when 87's gone, all of a sudden everything opens up. I'm not saying any other receiver is as good as 87. Right. When you get it to 87 in the open field, right. nobody can do the damage 87 can right. do. But all of a sudden, James White comes into play. Little Deion Lewis comes into play. You're swinging it. You're, you're crossing them occasionally. You're getting them on linebackers. And then it's Brandon Cooks. And then it's obviously Danny Amendola. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the ball's getting spread. And they play a little faster. And Tom Brady's not Gronk-centric anymore. Right. I can make a case they're at least as good without Gronk. Yeah. Maybe not better. I mean, it's, but it's, it's close. When you look at the numbers, they score average 30 points with Gronk. 31 without him. I just think the thing is, Skip, is that when he's in the lineup, those five-yard routes, the passes that White and Lewis get, all of a sudden they're 10 because the linebackers are even further out because they got to get try to get up under Gronk mm -hmm. because somebody might have him over the top, but they need to be up underneath. Skip, is hard. when you have a talent like a Gronk or a Julio or an Antonio Brown, you got to go into the game says, I got to give him X amount of targets yeah. because you know what he represents. But because Tom Brady, because his the offense is what it is, they have one dominant player in Gronk, yep. and they have a, a lot of other guys that do a lot of things really well. Mm -hmm. None of them burn. Now, Cooks can flat out fly. He can fly. Hogan's faster than you think, yep. but you look at him because he's white, you don't think he can run. I agree. But he eat ground up in a hurry. He can, but he's, Am he's also bigger he, than you think. Yep. But Amdola mm -hmm. and Edelman does such a great job of understanding nuances of route running, especially from the slot. Yep. Things happen so much quicker. Mm -hmm. And Tom needs to know, okay, he's going to come out on the other side of that window. Mm -hmm. So Tom is throwing it, hoping that they're going to be where they're, where they're supposed to be. Yep. Those guys work really, really well with Tom. Everybody, Skip, top receivers would have a hard time. We saw Ocho Cinco, Skip, and when he couldn't freelance and he couldn't be that guy, mm -mm. He looked like he had never seen a football. It's pretty pathetic. I it, gotta say. it was. It was. Yeah. Tom Brady threw him one gift early in that Super Bowl, the second Eli yes. Super Bowl, just so he could have a catch in the Super yes. Bowl. And that was about the end of that. But I remind everybody, last year, as you said, down the stretch, it was the last eight games, including the, the playoff game. Correct. No Gronk. And Tom Brady averaged 311 yards passing. It's pretty good. 17 touchdowns to four interceptions. And in the Super Bowl, as everybody remembers, he was 43, Tom Brady, 43 of 62 for 466 with no Gronk. So we have the various Rob Parkers sit here and say, no Gronk, no hardware. <laughs> no, wrong, 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 wrong. Right. You can still go win without him. So we're going to have two weeks of, is Gronk going to come okay? I don't yeah, know, I, believe, I believe he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll probably be fine. And if he isn't, I'm fine. I'm still going to pick New England because yeah. I think they can be at least as good without Gronkowski. And remember what happened, the final regular season game this year? I thought it was telling because – for once, it was just the Jets, but Tom Brady goes into the game and says, basically, to Todd Bowles, uh, not, uh, yeah, Todd Bowles, says, hey, okay, you want to take him away? You can have him. Put three guys on him because right. I, I don't even care today because you're just the Jets. Right. So he threw him zero balls, right. zero targets. And what happened? They won 26-6 to because it's just the Jets. And, and the thing is, Skip, but when that happens, yeah. when someone takes away a yeah. big piece of what you really do yeah. well, Mm -hmm. What does that mean? The other guys have to step up. And that's what we've seen. We've never we've we've not seen the Patriots where you take away something and someone else not step up. And that's what happens. Jay, I have no problem with Jalen Ramsey talking. But Skip, when you talk it, I'm you're talking to a Just guy. Just go that, back it up. Yeah, you I got, agree. I uh, knew, Skip, me uh, saying what I said leading up, uh -huh. all eyes was gonna be on me on the offensive side. All I right. needed to carry, uh, I needed to back up that talk. All right. Dude, y'all doing all this talking, and y'all ain't touching nobody. Nobody. Y'all ain't put hands. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody knows a speed receiver. You must put hands on him. If you do not, you press bail, you play off, mm -hmm. he's going to eat that cushion up so quick, Skip. He's yep. going to force you into that back pedal, and then Tom Brady's throwing the ball before he comes out of his break. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about it. I, I was disappointed with how Ramsey and Boyer played yesterday. Very. They got torched. They don't have that Shannon Sharp. Uh, no, nah, they do all that talking. talking yeah, you ability. do all that talking, bumping them gums, and Tom Brady did just. Speaking talk. of you in big games, the, uh, those 21 yards that Gronk got yesterday made him uh, first in post-receiving 
uh, postseason receiving yards amongst tight ends. Mm. You know where you are? Really? Where am I? Fourth. That's some boo job. <laughs> That's some boo job. It's Gronk, uh, Dallas Clark, Keith Jackson, and then Shan Sharp. Keith Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. How old Nelly got more yards? 834 than yards. Oh, Gronk okay. has 856. Dallas has 847. Really? You have 814. Yeah, but they were big yards. <laughs> big play, Shay? I, yeah. yeah, a lot of them was one catch. <laughs> one catch for 90, one catch for yeah. 50. Does Tom Brady deserve all the credit for yesterday's win? We'll discuss that with Greg Jennings next.